Hey guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can use a widgets option plugin inside your WordPress dashboard in order to enhance your WordPress widgets functionality. Now log into your dashboard. Once you are logged in, hover over plugin, click on add new. And the search option type widgets option. And you'll get first option, widgets option created by Favits with 5 plus rating. Click on install now. Click on activate. Once your plugin get activated, hover over plugins, click on install plugins and inside plugins you'll see setting option, click on that and in this page almost each and every option is enabled and configured according to recommendation. Scroll down and you'll find two options, live widget search and the site origin page builder support. You can enable this in case if you are using site origin page builder to enhance the function of this widgets option and for live widget search. Before act activating this, I'll tell you to hover over appearance and say widgets, open in a new tab and you can see there is no search option and let's enable this and refresh this page and you got one search option so that you can search each and every widgets at your fingertips. If you have large number of widgets, you can manage through this option. And now for the further understanding, I'll tell you to drag one widgets option to your sidebar. I'll choose calendar. You can write the title here. I'll say my calendar and here you'll find two options hide on check pages show on check pages you choose any of the options like i'll say hide on such check pages and in this option you have three options to choose either you can choose from miscellaneous or you can go for particular post types like for particular pages and for go for particular posts and you can go for particular taxonomies like particular categories or particular tags and i'll choose post types so now I'll choose show on check pages and in the post type I'll say display on blog, demo to, don't display on demo page, display on home page. So click on save change, go and refresh the page and you can see the uh, calendar is coming on the home page and click on blog page now. Calendar is coming on blog page too. When you click on demo page, the calendar is not there. When you click on demo page too, calendar is there. So we'll go back and we'll choose this option hide on check pages these pages are checked it will display only on demo page so i'll click save change i'll refresh the page and it's like it's getting hidden on demo page too demo page there's a calendar click on block page and there's no calendar click on home page there's no calendar similarly you can go for categories and tags and similarly you can go for these miscellaneous options like you can go for whenever phone or four page comes or if you have block page or if you have front page you can choose from this option also when you are done click on save changes and now click on device option and there you can see show or hide option is there you can choose any of the option either you want to show on the device or you want to hide on a particular device i'll say show on check devices display on desktop display on tablet don't display on mobile so i'll say save i'll go to my page and i'll refresh and you can see calendar is there now we'll minimize the page and this is the tablet size let's click on this and you can see widgets is there still minimize this and you can see this is the mobile size and there is no widgets let's cancel this and go back Shown mobile devices also. Click on save change. Refresh the page. Minimize this. Let's click on this. As you can see, there's a calendar. Minimize this. Minimize this. And this is responsive to. And this is the mobile size. And it's still that which is there. Now we'll go back again. And let's click on alignment option and you have option how you want that widgets to be aligned either you want that to be right left center justify or default i'll click on center and click save change next click on setting option and in this case if you have written any title for your widgets you can choose this option instead of deleting this you can directly choose this option and click on save changes and let's refresh the page there already one title is there my calendar and you can see the title is hidden now. Next click on this. Now click on class and ID. These two options is helpful only if you know codes. But I'll teach you some of the codings how to use widgets class ID and widgets CSS classes. So I'll be discussing these two topics in detail. 
for better understanding of class and IDs I'll tell you to add one more widgets let's take one more calendar here and add one more and now we have total three calendars Cal my calendar one and I'll give this title as my calendar two and I'll give title for this as my calendar three and now total we got three calendars so I'll click on first one and I'll add CSS ID for this you can give any name for CSS ID make sure it should not be used anywhere else already so I'll say my calendar one I'll copy this and open this click on setting click on class ID and I'll paste this and I'll say CSS ID 2 open this click on save click on this option click on class ID and say third CSS ID 3 click on save change and for each of the class we'll say class will be same you'll come to know when we are doing CSS final just write down whatever I'm saying to you which is CSS classes my calendar and for this one CSS class is similar for this one also CSS class is similar and let's add same CSS classes for this click save change click save change click save change and in case if you want to prepare CSS classes already you can hover over plugins click on install plugins click on setting click on configure setting and here you can add numbers of CSS classes and once you are done you can add extra CSS class by adding on plus icon and click on save changes now we'll check the visibility of the widgets so we'll click on this option it's available on home we'll be working from home page let's see whether this is visible on home page or not save change show on home page only visible on home page show post type home page click save change let's refresh the page and this gone click on home page and there will total three calendar my calendar one my calendar two and my calendar three we'll right click on this and say inspect and you can see my calendar one as id and the class id is issue my calendar widgets similarly for second one is also my calendar two my calendar widgets this is the class and say again my calendar three and the my calendar widgets which is underscore calendar this is your class for all classes are same and the IDs are different and now we'll go and make some CSS for this so that we can understand better open this in a new page click on this go to appearance click on customize and click on additional CSS and once you are on this page go back to widgets option and there you can find class class and ID you need to copy for which you want to make custom style I'll say copy I want to make a custom style for this class go back type dot and paste that class name open and close that two curly bracket I'll say with equals to 200 pixel you can refer w3 schools for more custom CSS and let's say height equals to 200 pixel and say border equals to 1 pixel solid black and click on save change and publish you can see this is the calendar now we'll refresh this becomes smaller in size and with a bracket and with a border of one pixel and let's say we'll increase the size I'll make it 400 height and width click on publish refresh this and you can see it's bigger than earlier and whatever change we are making is going to all of these and now we'll target IDs for each ID we'll give different different codes we'll go back and copy that particular ID my calendar one copy say paste before that you type hash because it's an ID open a curly bracket and close a curly bracket and we'll say background color equals to red and we'll copy this and again say paste And I'll change all of the IDs number that's it and I'll change the color
and say publish now refresh the page as like you can see red orange blue what we did we target class for giving course everyone for together in case if you want to give course to reduce your timing you can create class and create and we create ids so that we can target a particular widgets now we'll go back and we we'll learn logic option click on logic for better understanding of this logic option you need to open this in a new tab and go through once because some of the tags are there you can use to apply some conditions on that widgets let's see this is is home this condition returns true when the user is on the home page or else it will not show so i'll say copy this similarly you can check out all the cases for example you can take this one administration panel when the admin is login that will return true and that condition if the condition is true then that widgets will display so we'll go back again and we'll paste here and say save and now we'll go to our website and there you can see a calendar and we'll refresh now and that's got this app here let's click on any of the options it's not coming let's click on this it's a home page and it's showing you calendar let's try some other conditional tags now we'll use is user logged in function this will return true only when the user is logged in when the user is log out it will return false so we'll copy this code and we'll paste here and save changes now go to our page refresh the page and you can see this calendar is working click on blog click on demo page click on demo 2 for everything this is working i'll say log out and i'll ask him to go back again refresh the page and now you click on any of these options that will not work it's because you are log out of the system so it returns false 